Hi everyone, this is a math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following financial math question that comes from a past matric paper. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. The market value of John's house has increased at a constant annual exponential rate of 4.5% since he bought it on 1st of January 2008. On 1st of January 2021, his house was worth 3,500,000 rand. We had to A, determine what the value of his house was on the 1st of January 2008 when he bought it, and B, Ellen also bought a house on 1st of January 2008. A house cost 1,800,000 rand. Its market value has also been steadily increasing at a higher constant and now exponential rate of 5%. If the houses continue to keep increasing in value at the respective rate, in which calendar year will the two houses be worth the same amount? For the first part of the question, we've been told that John's house increased at a constant annual exponential rate. I'm going to highlight the part to note of 4.5 percent he bought it on 1st of january 2008 and then on 1st of january 2021 his house was worth 3.5 million rand so starting by stating down our parameters we've been told that the exponential rate is 4.5 percent so we have a rate which is equal to our interest equals 4.5 percent then we're told that he bought it on the 1st of January so we have the start to be 1st of Jan 2008 and then as at 1st of January 2021 we're told the worth of the house so we have end we have 1st of Jan 2021. Note that between 1st of January 20, 2008 and 1st of January 2021, 13 years have elapsed. Then we have the value, the end value, which is our A for our formula, will be 3.5 million rand so we have 3 500,000 rand we have to find what the value of this house was on the 1st of January 2008 so that's the initial value which is the principal amount P note that the A is the accumulated amount that's the price after the 13 years the P is the initial amount so, because we've been told that it's increased at a constant annual exponential rate of 4.5%, we're going to use the compound interest formula that states that we have A, that's the accumulated amount, equals the initial amount, P, in bracket, 1 plus the interest or the rate, to the power of the number of years so we have the accumulated amount 3.5 million so that's three five hundred thousand equals the initial value you don't know that so that's p we leave that as p one plus the interest is 4.5 percent so we are going to divide 4.5 percent 4.5 divided by 100 to the power of 13 that's the number of years if we resolve that we have three million five hundred thousand equals p that's the initial value in bracket one plus zero point zero four five to the power of 13 Therefore, punching that in, we have the initial amount, P, 
for the house equals in rand one million nine hundred and seventy four thousand nine hundred and fifty point seventy four rand let's look at the second part of the question it says ellen bought a house on 1st of january 2008 that's the same year that john bought is and then a house cost so that's the cost of the house as the initial value its market value has also been steadily increasing but at a higher constant annual exponential rate of five percent remember john's own was 4.5 percent if the houses continue to keep increasing in value at the respective rate in which calendar year will the two houses be worth the same amount so for helen our start time is the same as jan which is the first of january 2008 and then because the cost of the house initially was 1.8 million rand so our initial amount p for helen equals 1.8 million rand and then the rate is different from that of john helen's rate is five percent and then we have to look for n where the two values will be the same so therefore equating the two values not that the n for john in this case for john is also unknown because we are trying to look for when the two values will be the same so we are looking for n for both ellen and john to make the equation the same so starting with ellen using the compound interest formula we have a thousand eight hundred a million eight hundred thousand that's the initial cost of a house multiplying one plus the interest interest for helen is five percent so i have that as five over hundred close bracket raised to the power of n equals we do the same thing we're able to calculate the initial amount for john so that's one million nine hundred and seventy four thousand nine hundred and fifty point seven four in bracket one plus not that John's interest rate is 4.5 percent so we have 4.5 divided by 100 all to the power of n so we have five to find n we'll start by dividing both sides or before i divide i'm going to simplify my bracket so i have 1.8 million in bracket one plus five over hundred that's one point zero five to the power of n equals one million nine hundred and seventy four thousand nine hundred and fifty point seven four in bracket one plus four point five divided by hundred that's one point zero four five to the power of n so using my exponential rules i'll start by dividing both sides by 1.045 to the power of n so on my left hand side i'm going to divide by i'm going to move the terms with the power of n to the same side so that will be on the left hand side 1.045 to the power of n then on my right hand side i'm moving my 1800 1.8 million so that's 1 million 800,000 always remember whatever you do on your left you do on your right so if i'm dividing by the same terms i'm also going to divide on this side by 1.045 to the power of n and i'm also going to divide on this side by one million eight hundred thousand. 
So what I'm trying to do is to move all the terms with the power of n to one side and the other term to the other side. So if you look at my denominator, I've been able to divide by the same value such that on my left, I have 1.8 million dividing 1.8 million. And then on my right, I have 1.045 to the power of n dividing 1.045 to the power of n. So what I have is on my left, I'm left with 1.05 to the power of n divided by 1.045 to the power of n equals 1974950.74 divided by 1.8 million. Applying the laws of exponents, that states that if I have x to the power of n divided by y to the power of n, because the exponents are the same, applying the quotient rule, that will be x over y or raised to the power of n. So that's what I'm going to do on my left hand side. I'm going to have that as in bracket 1.05 divided by 1.045 or raised to the power of n equals. I have on my right hand side, if I divide, that will be 1.097. 1.94856. So if I simplify what I have on my left, that will be in bracket 1.0047846 or raised to the power of n equals 1.097194856. Now applying the log rule, that will be log of the base. The base in this case is 1.0047846921.097194856. To equals to n. That's the power. Therefore, if you punch that in, n will be equal to 19.433. Therefore, because the question says, in which calendar year will the two houses be worth the same amount? Now, remember, they both started on the 1st of January, 2008. So therefore, to find the calendar year, so the year would be 20 or 2008 plus n, that's 19.433, and that will be equal to approximately 2027. Thanks for watching. Bye.